Coming to you pre-recorded from Nobody Gives a Damn Studios here in wonderful, hot as hell, Phoenix, Arizona. It's like a sun in here. <laughs> in auto car news, in some sort of way, it is breaking. Join me. So today, we got teasers of the new Nissan Z prototype. The car to save Nissan. Or will it? I don't think so. But that's just my opinion. From a guy who shoots videos in his room in Phoenix. However, this is good news. It may not save Nissan. It's going to take a lot to save Nissan. But it is good news. And good news is that the Japan Car Wars is alive and well. And though it is not the 90s and early 2000s, and what we are seeing is a rebirth of the Japanese two door sport car. And that is pretty cool. And I should know because I drive. A 2007 Honda Civic Si that they just killed. So, jokes on, jokes on me. But first, I want to talk about what the new Nissan means to the car community. So, first thoughts on the new Nissan Z. Um, well, it kind of looks thrown together. And when I mean it kind of looks thrown together, it kind of really looks thrown together. And I mean that in kind of a good way, and there are some redeeming qualities of the new Z. I have to say the interior is pretty dope. Unlike some other competitors, I'm not going to name any names, Nissan did not stick the infotainment center on the dash like it was held by putty. Just freestanding there somehow, some way. I do like how they built it into the dash. Now, this is something that I wish more car manufacturers did. Um, unlike what looks like they went around the factory and gathered spare parts to slap something together. But here, Nissan lo really looked like they knew what they were doing when they put this interior together. It's actually my favorite part of the car. I think one of my least favorite parts of this car has to be the grill. I do like the insert and I like the retro throwback of the insert of the grill, but it's the grill, it's the grill opening itself. It's so rectangular. <laughs> I mean, I just think it's very last minute detailed. They didn't know what to do with it, so they just threw it together. Could be wrong. Maybe that's the idea they were looking for. But hopefully in the final stage of this design of this car, it goes from square to something else. Um, that's just my opinion. I couldn't help but notice also they for the taillights, they kind of called back the 300ZX, uh, which is one of my favorite Nissans other than the R34 and the 240. I do like it. I do like the the... I like the thought that they went with. All around this car you'll see subtle nods to passes. I think that's what they were really going for. They were reaching back in their back pocket. They knew what would work. Uh, I'm very mixed on this car. Uh, I like it. I don't know what the final stage is going to be. I think it has potential. I think they need to fix a few things. Um, Again, some of the, the solids for me is some of the subtle throwbacks they did to past Z cars. Like I just mentioned, the 300ZX. Uh, the interior, I think, is a very strong um, player in the game, especially when you compare it to something like the Supra. I sold Hondas for quite a while. Um, I don't know if you can put these in the same category, but something like the SI, um, I think this has a, stay, a step up above the SI, even though it is going to probably be much more expensive. 
four door versus two door. Very you can't really compare, but that's really all that Honda has out at the moment to compare. Now, this kind of opens up a door, and it's a very exciting door of what could be next. So you have the Z, the Supra. I'm looking at you, Honda. You know you got to do it. There's no other choice other than bringing back the S2000, S3000, S2020. I don't know. So years full of good ideas. So let's let's bring out another one. I have to say I saw some renderings of the proposed plans of the S2000 uh, redesigned. I don't know if they're real or not, but they look what. The NSX should have been. Oh! The average two door sports car that somebody could afford. Let's talk about powertrain and let's talk about horsepower projections. Let's talk about pricing. So, if you look at what Nissan's coming out with, and that's going to be a three liter twin turbo V6 with probably the best news yet. That's going to be a six-speed manual. That already has one, you know, up over Toyota. I mean, with the Super riding on the Z3 body and it only being an automatic, you know, people who want a driver's car, I would say at least an option of a manual. Give us an option of a manual, and the car, the real car enthusiasts will will be happy. You know, it doesn't always have to be all about power. All doesn't have to be all about displacement. Those things can be made up on the back end if you really want them to, which the, the Super is really showing. You know, you have stupid numbers being thrown down on the Super already off of its, you know, off of its base body now. Um, but with the the 3 liter V6, I really see the um, horsepower being in the 400 range. Um, you know, if they can squeak out a little bit more, I think that thing's going to be, a, you know, a quick car. Um, especially, I can't see it being a real heavy car. Going back, all the Z cars in the past, you know, the 350, the 370, they are pretty light cars in, you know, retrospect. But if you compare a 3 liter V6 to what Toyota's, Toyota's running, they're running a 2 liter and a 3 liter. Now the 2 liter is running 255 horsepower, where the 3 liter is running 382 horsepower. So if you can come in at 400 horsepower with the Z, and maybe a couple grand cheaper with a manual option, I think people will second guess that Toyota Super option and look definitely at the Z. I think if they can come in at anywhere from 37 to 39 grand with the new Z, with the top tier, if they have a Nismo option or whatever their trim levels are going to be, if they can stay under that 55 range, I'm not really sure. That's probably where I'd think it would stay or where I think the pricing should be um, with the two door. I think if they stay in that, they're a real competitor with Supra and all we just need is this to come out, be successful and I think we have what we call a Japanese car war. Just like the golden days of the 90s and the 2000s, I think if Nissan kills it, knocks it out of the park with this, I think that argues a possible relook at what the GTR now is. I think that needs to be reworked from the ground up. I was in high school, I think like when the, it was released something like 12, 13 years ago. It's a great car. It's over and over, you know, breaking records. Over, to, you see on YouTube, you have 2,000 horsepower GTRs. They're absolutely nuts. They're off the wall. But I think it's time to redesign, go something completely gnarly, and redesign your brand as how Toyota came out a couple years ago and saying no more boring cars. Okay, Nissan, it's your turn. Let's get back to the golden age. Let's see what you can do. You know, if this Z is your first step, maybe another GTR, maybe if they are both successful, I would love to see another maybe two-door or four-door sports car. I think that would be an amazing lineup competing with what Toyota has. Hopefully, Tonda responds. Um, I really don't see anything going down with the Miata, even though 
Um, it's kind of been the same. I'm in my mid 50s and my wife won't let me get a Corvette, so I'm getting a Miata as my sports car. I mean, let's be honest, that's what I really, that's what the Miata is for. I'm tired of crossovers. <laughs> Tired of boring A to B cars. Um, it's either you have some kind of fake package with uh, aerodynamics and a spoiler and a new set of wheels with red stitching, or you're talking about cars that are over 200 grand that are breaking boundaries left and right. And we have we're left with nothing in the middle, with no substance and no true grit. There's there's no affordable um, there's no affordable sports car really anymore. Go back five years, other you know, take out your American made, so your Mustangs, your Camaros, um, you really don't have too much to play with in that forty to sixty thousand dollar range. Uh, for the average consumer um, to get in, drive, beat the piss out of, take it home, put it in their garage. You really don't have to do anything to it. I'm a big fan of modifying cars. But we need that sports car. We need multiple of them. We need options. While doing some research for this video, I came across some two quite possibly amazing Japan sport cars of the past that I don't think should go unnoticed. Coming in, in the right corner, from 1991, weighing in at 1,675 pounds, the unforgettable, the very desired Honda Beat. I mean, look at this thing. Five-speed manual, had a 656cc motor, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, sports car now tell me that that ain't gold and coming in in the left corner we have also from 1991 weighing in at 1598 pounds the Suzuki cappuccino amazing amazing auto engineering these two cars we can't forget about them and that's why I'm here not to let these things die so I want to know what your guys thoughts are on the Nissan Z prototype. I want to know if you like it, if you don't like it, what your thoughts on, our, on it are. Is it a competitor to the new Supra? Um, is there going to be other answers from Honda, from other car makes that might have had their um, skin in the game back in the 90s and 2000s? Are we going to see more cars like this come up from these same makes? So from Toyota, like maybe like the MR2 or another Z car. Um, you know, this has a, you know, this is a great answer, but it also sparks more answers. Um, I'm very excited to see what comes in the next couple of years with the auto industry. There's lots of th things to be excited about with not just only what we have here, but uh, what else is going on throughout the world. Big support of the manual and big support of gasoline motors as long as um, we can protect the gasoline motors as long as we can and stop the world from using uh, electric motors another year. This is great news. Um, I think we're uh, I think we're in the midst of it all and we're about to see another replenish of sports cars. So I'm really excited. Let me know what you guys think and um, thank you so much for joining in today and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.